So it's late October here in Norway. It's uh, definitely autumn. And that means more clothing when I'm out running. So today I want to give you guys five items that I find essential uh, when running in colder conditions during autumn. So I'm definitely a fan of like cool summer conditions when it comes to running. When I can just head out the door with minimal clothing and just flow through the, the woods. Uh, it gets colder here in Norway though, as most people are aware of, and uh, that means I have to put on more clothing. And I, I don't particularly love it, but I've found that if I don't have the right items, if I don't have the right type of clothing, then it really sucks, okay? So having quality gear is really essential if you want to enjoy running uh, year-round. So let's get right into the five items that I think is essential for anyone running in cold climates. First item, hat. You gotta have a hat. Uh, it is. Uh, it depends on the person. Some people like running without a hat in fairly cold conditions, but at a certain point, you have to put on a hat in order to keep your head warm. There's a lot of heat that escapes just from the head, and even just in like semi-cold conditions, I find that I might be okay running without almost any, just like a t-shirt even. But putting on a hat makes me so much more comfortable. Uh, it's also the wind, you know, in your face and in your forehead. I tend to get a headache if I get the wind hitting my forehead for too long on long runs. So having a good hat um, is really essential. Second item, gloves. You gotta have a good pair of gloves as well. It's kind of the same as with the head. Uh, we tend to lose heat more easily from our extremities. And you gotta remember, as a runner, your legs are working pretty hard, but your arms aren't really that working that hard, so they don't generate as much heat. So typically, it's nice to just be able to put on some gloves when the weather gets colder. So with a hat and a pair of gloves, you already uh, uh, come a long way. I like to run with these gloves and what I do is that I, I just wear them and then if, I, if, I, if it gets too warm or if I just feel uncomfortable, I just pull them off and put them into my pocket uh, like I just did. But you know, I'll keep them on for the rest of the video just for the sake of showing off all the gear. And by the way, if you're interested in buying any of the gear that I'm mentioning today, like the, the specific gear that I'm wearing, I'll put a link in the description, it's going to be an affiliate link. To each of the uh, items and if you click that link will take you to Amazon and you can buy it and we get a commission for sending you there but the price remains the same for you if you're interested all right next item we got three more to go vest running vest essential item uh, in, uh, in in cooler conditions why well because there's a certain range of temperatures where you don't want to put on a jacket that'll be a bit too much uh, but you, if you don't have anything against the wind, it gets very cold quickly. So a vest like this uh, will take some of that wind, uh, cool wind off. And it's also, you know, water repellent where it'll um, help out if it's raining a little bit, you know. But it's breathing, it's very breathable. Not only because the material itself is breathable, but because, you know, under here, you generate a lot of heat and it comes out there and you can also regulate of course how open you keep it you know you can run like that if it's if you if you realize halfway through the run that it put on a little bit too much clothing you just open it up a bit or if it's cold you can close it up real nice and it's just it's just a perfect step between uh, no uh, outer layer and uh, a jacket so it's halfway in there and I really like it it's an essential item during autumn for me next item is a long sleeve technical shirt so this is just a shirt from Saucony uh, it is uh, just polyester I think so it's breathable it, it transports the moisture away from your body uh, but most of all the point here is that it's long sleeve right we, we all have a bunch of t-shirts at home and singlets and all that stuff and that's great when it's warm and summery but uh, as soon as autumn comes around those arms start to get a little chilly and it's nice to just put on a long sleeve sweater so what I do is that I, I do layers right I put this one at the bottom and then I have a t-shirt on top of that 
uh, and then I have my vest as the outer layer uh, on the end there. So here we go. You can see see my sh shirt here. I have my heart rate monitor underneath there. I have a belt here where I carry some dates and my phone and all that stuff. Uh, and then uh, my vest on top. So uh, long sleeve sweater, really essential piece of gear. Last but not least, I don't know if you can see it, tights. You gotta have a good pair of running tights, seriously. Um, again, the, the, the legs generate a lot of heat, so you can run with shorts in pretty cold conditions. I've done, I've done shorts in like plus two degrees, almost down to zero degrees Celsius, which is like freezing. I guess that's like 30 degrees or something in, in Fahrenheit. Uh, I've done shorts all the way down to there. And if you're doing a really, really hard workout and there's, there's no wind, and you're just you're gonna work really hard, then maybe you can get away with wearing shorts. Um, but for most of your runs, if you want to be comfortable, especially if you're on an easy run, uh, and honestly, even during workouts, uh, I see no point in being kind of chilly. That I just I like being comfortable, to be honest. So a good pair of running tights. Um, I don't know if you can see it at all, but um, it's, it's essential. It goes all the way down. Um, and just uh, protects you against that uh, cold wind a little bit and, and just a colder temperature. And of course, as it gets really much colder, you might opt for a, for a thicker tight pair of tights that will keep you even warmer yet. And, and ultimately, you might even put a pair of pants on top of that again if it's really, really cold, like it will be here in Norway in about, oh, I don't know, a month, two months. Um, so there's obviously lots of other nice gear to have but those are the five essential pieces of gear that i would recommend during autumn as i said there's a link in the description uh, for each of the item if you if you want to buy it and of course if you have any questions or one you know or maybe you want to share some of your tips on what you wear during colder weather when you're running post it down in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the little bell button next to the subscribe button where you can get notified whenever I upload a video. That's all, let's pan out at the end here of the video. Look at the beautiful area here, look at this. This is my home. I live 200 meters up there, that's my house. And this is right behind my house, literally. I used to go to school down there, my elementary school. Oslo is there on the other side of the fjord. Anyway, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. See you around.